What is up, Eastern Oregon? This is Dodgy with the O Live Sports, and today I'm joined by EOU senior softball player Maddie Statler. How's it going, Maddie? It's good. Good. Um, so let's start at the beginning. How did you end up at EOU? My mom played with coach, and then they kind of conspired together to get me to come play here. Were you? Did you come fresh out of high school, or were you yeah. in junior college? Fresh out of high school. Where, where did you go to high school? Clackamas High School. In, in Clackamas. Yep. And growing up, any other sports? I played basketball, soccer, and volleyball. What, out of the four, what was your favorite? Softball. Softball by far? Yeah. Why, because mom or because you Well, just... mom and dad. Oh, dad, dad. Dad was my coach for tournament ball. And then you just kind of fell in love? Yep. When, when was the first time you started playing organized softball? Oh, it was like five or six, probably. About the same age as T-ball-ish yeah. era. Um, what's your favorite thing about softball? Um, probably my teammates and just the chemistry from everyone around. Just being with the, the team, really. And um, for, for the recruiting process, Nicole getting you here, talk about that a little bit. Obviously, your mom was involved, but, but yeah. like, kind of explain to people how that worked. Mine was probably different than most people because I only applied here, only to Eastern. I knew I wanted to go here. Yeah. And then my mom and coach kind of did all the recruiting together, and I was just kind of on the sidelines. So mine was a lot different than most people's would be. Yeah. One of the things that I'm trying to show athletes today, especially high school kids, is it's not it's not what they think it is anymore. Like for most people, you have to you have to sell yourself. Coaches aren't going to come and and put themselves on your front porch and say, come play for me. That's mm -hmm. not how it works. Now, when I was a kid, that is how it worked. It, it's completely yeah. different. And that's one of the things that I'm trying to teach uh, high school kids is like, you got to put a little effort into this and sell yourself if you want to go mm -hmm. somewhere. You can't just expect, you know, like obviously you're a little bit of a different situation yeah. with your mom and everything, but you understand that. Yeah. I mean, you know that, that you've seen it enough with teammates and with just being around that, you, today you have to sell yourself. Mm -hmm. A lot of the main things is going to like the camps so the coaches see you before. ID just, camps, yes, yeah. 100%. Um, what about uh, um, your idol? Who, who, who would you say is like your idol? It doesn't have to be softball, just <gasps> in general. I don't know. Probably both of my parents. Yeah, why? Uh, they both played college softball and baseball, and then they were both with me my whole life, teaching me how to play, teaching me the sport, and... They were good role models. Where did your dad play soft baseball at? Uh, he went to Lynn Benton, and then he was in, like, the summer ball minor league type. Over on the west side? Like, yeah. Or in Oregon? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, for for you personally, um, in this valley, you we're, we're obviously surrounded by, you know, a beautiful mountains on every side. Mm -hmm. If you ha if you could choose one, would you choose that or the beach? Uh... Depends on the year. In the winter, I'd choose the beach. In the summer, I'd choose the mountains. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a beach dude. Like, I, it, not, not necessarily the Oregon coast, although I think the no. Oregon coast is absolutely beautiful. It's cold. It's, it's windy. Cold. It rains a lot. Yeah. Now, the further south you go, the more beautiful it gets. Yes. The weather stays very consistent. And the beach is just, you know what I mean? It's, it's almost overwhelming how, how powerful the beach is to mm -hmm. me. It's, it's just one of those things. Um, what about softball wise? Like who's your, who's your go-to girl? Like who, who, who do you like? Mm, I don't know. Somebody um, you tried to emulate. Probably Sis Bates. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Cause she was a player that went all out. Yeah. Loved the sport. Still is a part of it. Still around it. It's, yeah. Um, soft, softball wise for you, like this coming year, what's your personal goals? Um, more of just team goals. I want to get to nationals again. Sophomore year was amazing, and there's only a few of us that were still on that team yeah. that are together still, and we want to do it again. I mean, there's no reason why we no. shouldn't make nationals this year. Yes. It, it'll be a, last year was a disappointment. Yes. I thought we were right on the cusp. Maybe we should have made it in. The mm -hmm. Hope games early in the season hurt. Yeah. But this year, it'll be a major disappointment. I yes. mean, I, with a retooled pitching staff and just with what we have, what I've seen, we, we're gonna we're we're making the national tournament. I'm, I'm gonna go out and go out there and say we're making the national tournament. Um, what about if you had to choose five years in prison or ten years in a coma? Which one are you choosing? 
Oh, I'd probably do 10 years in a coma. You I would? I wouldn't survive prison. You'd just wake up 10 <laughs> yeah. years and, and all your friends would have kids. Figure and, it out. And figure yeah. it out, huh? That would be tough. I, I, I'm doing prison for sure. I don't think I could do prison. Uh, pineapple on pizza? No. Why not? I, don't go, pizza's not it. supposed to be sweet. No. <laughs> What's your favorite go-to food? Uh, probably steak and potatoes. Yeah? Yeah. That's a pretty good, pretty good <laughs> answer. I mean, that's hard to beat. It's like it's 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 very hard to beat. Um, what about school wise? What are you going to school for? Accounting. What do you want to be? Uh, I still don't know. My mom or my family has a company that they run, and I'll probably just end up like CPAs or. No, they're they own a metal recycling company. Oh, okay. But my mom's on the accounting side, and I'll probably go in with her. And just work for the family business. Yep. And, and was that, was, was going to college to play softball or was going to college to get a degree? Softball. Yeah. I, so, <laughs> so I'm, I'm all for, you know, schools pushing grades and academics and all that, but here's my philosophy on it as well. If you want to go to school to play a sport, as long as you're doing what the coaches tell you to do and hitting the grades, you're paying to go there. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Unless you're like on a foot, like. Go if if a school says I'm athlete first or a student says that, so be it. You know what I mean. As long as you're getting your great, you're doing what you have to do mm -hmm. to stay eligible, you can be an athlete first. It's your decision to be there. Yeah. And I I get kind of frustrated when people say, oh, they're 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 students first. Well, well, not if they not if they choose not to be. I mean, they're adults. They're they're paying to be there. If they want to be a athlete first. As long as they keep their grades in check and, and stay kosher on everything that the coach and the, the university requires, then they then they mm -hmm. can be an athlete first. And you'll graduate eyes. with a degree after. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, like, when people say that, it, it kind of frustrates me sometimes because I'm like, uh, I think it's like a misconception that people have that you have to be an, a student first and then an athlete mm -hmm. when, when in all reality you're making that decision, so do what you want to do. Um, if you had to go a week, no, let's make it a month. If you had to go a month without one or the other, internet or taking a shower, which one are you taking? I'd go without internet. You would? Yeah. You think you'd make it in a month without internet? Probably not, but I wouldn't make it a month without showering. No, it would be terrible. <laughs> I huh? would not survive. It would be so bad. Do you got your phone with you? I do. What's, what's the last song you listened to on your playlist? Oh, boy, I don't know. Whatever was on in the car. Um... It, it's a new song, actually. It's Devil You Know by Tyler Braden. Huh. What's your uh, go-to uh, like style of music or genre? Country, new or old? Both. I'm so I like like the the Tyler Childers mm -hmm. like new style of country, Co Wetzel, but I do not like the pop new country. Yeah. I like old country. I like like. George Strait, but like the poppy country, like Kane Brown. I, not to say he's not talented. It's just not my thing. Yeah, like, some of his songs are good, and then it, some are a little. I just, the pop, much. the pop. I I don't even understand how you can call that country. Like I mean, it really, it's pop to me. Yeah. And and I just it's it's never been my thing. I like just the old like Randy Travis. I like mm -hmm. you know like that era of country. But I'm also in my mid forties, unfortunately. Um, this, this softball team this last weekend, you guys, you guys had a good, uh, weekend, uh, um, hit the, hit the field running. Basically we, we won all three games. Mm -hmm. Talk about this weekend a little bit. Uh, this weekend we came in with, I think the best mindset we've had in my four years. Our team seems to be a lot closer than the past. And I think it's just going to push us to be better. Yeah. The. I feel like uh, the the coaches did a good job of addressing weaknesses in the off season and and making adjustments and bringing in players to yes. to are are you do you have one more year of eligibility after nope. this this is it so I, you're you don't have a COVID year no so you're just four bang and you're gone yep and you don't have like where do you see yourself in ten years I know I asked you what you want to be when you grow up but where do you see yourself in ten years hopefully married with kids but that's the plan yeah. Coaching yeah. T-ball. How many kids you want? Two or three. There, there, so I'll tell you this now. There's a huge difference between one and two. Yes. <laughs> I have three kids. 
so. But there's not not a huge difference mm -hmm. between two and three. No. There really isn't. If it, it the difference between one and two is astronomical. But then once you get two, the difference between two and three is very, very yeah. I mean, because you're already, you know, I had a kid that was a newborn, a two year old, and a four year old. You know what I mean? So thankfully we never had two kids in diapers at the same time though. Yeah. We got them ran through. My my son was the godsend. He potty trained like just right before his second birthday. Oh, wow. He was done. He, he and and I used I uh, this is funny. I used Cheerios. I just threw them in for targets in the toilet. <laughs> and he made it a game. He's just competitive. He always yeah. has been. And and it was it was boom. And so because diapers are expensive. They are expensive. <laughs> it's it's no <laughs> joke, man. I mean, like when when you're especially we were young, you know, 25, 26 years old, trying to figure out life and work working opposite schedules and we got two you know young kids trying to we were like we got to figure out a way to get this kid potty trained anyways um so so this team this year um you said that there's there's a difference you can feel it like mm -hmm. like um it where at what point is it a disappointment like where where do you think we need to be like do you think we need to make it to the final four do you think we where, where do you think this I team think making it up? past first rounds would be huge. Yeah. I, I, I mean, like I said, I'm disappointed if we don't make the national tournament. I think, I mean, I think right now we're, we're right there. We're, we're mm -hmm. right at the top of the league with LIT. Um, obviously, we saw Southern this last weekend. They, they struggled a little bit. And, and I, I mean, I, as long as we play up to our capability, mm -hmm. which is going to, it's going to take some good things to happen for us, too. We need weather, for one thing. Yeah. We need to not have home games over the mountain. Because yeah. that, that hurts, well, not with, being here. With the turf field this year, too, it should be better. Right. You're going to get to play yeah. down there at Optimus this year, which yeah. is going to be a huge, huge advantage of not having to drive an hour and a half to play a home game. Yeah. Um, last thing, and then I'll get you out of here. If I was a, a senior in high school and Coach Christian sat me in front of you and said, Maddie, uh, recruit Dodsey to come play softball at EOU, what are you going to tell me? Uh, work your heart. Work your heart off. Do everything you can to get on the field, and then have fun. It's four years goes by fast. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. I mean, I remember when you were when when yeah. I remember when you were freshman. It's crazy. Yeah. Eastern Oregon. She's EOU softballs. Maddie Stadler. I'm Dodzy. Maddie, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.